हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द आईआईटी जैम 2022 मैथमेटिकल स्टैटिस्टिक्स टुडे वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टू टेन विद सम शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स आर देयर सो वट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज देयर यू हैव टू फाइंड द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वी आर एक्स फॉलोज द बायोमेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट्स अ वेरी सिंपल टास्क अबाउट दैट हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ हेयर दिस इज नथिंग बट माई जीरो टू a t raised to power a minus 1 and you can say this is uh, p of x of t what is that this is nothing but my probability generating function now if you compare them what is the value of the a a is my 1 so what is the integration is 0 to 1 this is 0 what is the probability generating function of the binomial distribution so all of us knows that this is my probability generating function of the uh, binomial distribution so you can substitute the value here p of this now what is the integration of this this is nothing but my raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 times of p so you can see this is 1 minus p cancel out this is n plus 1 p is 2 this is cancel out because it's i need p from 0 to 1 so if you substitute 1 it will be by 1 If it is zero, then it will be my k raised to power n plus one upon n plus one of p. So what is that? This is my one minus k is p is nothing but k is the correct option for this. Look at the another one is there. How you can solve this problem? So you can see whenever there is a root of pi or exponential, which thing come in your mind is of the normal distribution. And whenever you are talking about the normal distribution, it's my root of two pi. So I can multiply root two and divide by root two here. then this function becomes my 2 upon root 2 pi e raised to power minus of 2x e raised to power y minus x upon 2 so this is my joint density function of here so there are the two methods are there the first method is you can find the expected value so it means you have to find the marginal function and then you can find it but that's a quite lengthy now how you can solve that you can see this part is there any distribution of this yes this is nothing but the exponential distribution with parameter 2 now what about the remaining part is 1 by root of 2 pi e raised to power minus y minus x whole square by 2 that's a that's a normal distribution but that's a conditional normal distribution that is y condition x is here that follows the normal distribution with mean is x you can see that what is the normal distribution x minus mu square upon 2 sigma Scale. So now here is a sigma is my one. So therefore you can solve this now. You can how you can find the expected value of the y. So by using the result, expected value of the y is nothing but the expected value of their condition. What is the mean of this? The mean of this is my x. Here, what is the mean of this exponential distribution? Is my one by two. That is the right answer of this problem. look at the another one is there so how you can solve that this is a independent and identical is given to you which distribution is here if you remember that this is nothing but my geometric distribution why i can write this part also as of this way so that is p q raised to power x minus 1 anyhow what is the meaning of this minimum of this is greater than 5 what is the meaning of this is x1 is also greater than 5 and that is the intersection of x2 is also be a greater than 5 now since they are independent so i can write this as multiply of this x1 is greater than 5 multiply of this since both are identical also so i can write this like here now how you can write this i can write this expression is simply like of this now that is over now you can write this as discrete part from 1 to 4 half raised to power x of there now what is that this is nothing but the gp how you can solve them this is a 1 minus r raised to power n that is 4 upon 1 minus of r that is the answer now you can see this is the half this is cancel out this one will be cancel out here minus minus plus 1 by 2 raised to power 4 raised to power square so 1 by 2 raised to power 4 is 1 by 16 so 1 by 16 square is 260 256 is the right answer look at the another one is there so how you can solve this problem which is not a true that is you have to talk about the umpsp 
that's a very simple about that if you closely look about the options are there you can see x square and there they are both are the same it means either of them is the correct option simply it's a, it, since this is only one option is correct so it either one of the option is correct so how you can use them that's a very simple you can either use the mle you can start with the uh, 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 you can find the likelihood functions are there but there is one more easy task are there since this is the exponential distribution so once it is exponential distribution then you can define its moment generating function what is the moment generating function of this is here now we can try to find the moment generating function of the x bar so this is summation so how you can find the moment generating function of the x size they are the random they are uh, independent also so i can write this part of here now you can divide it by n so this is here so you all knows that what is the moment generating function of the cx so this is nothing but the moment generating function of the c of t so c is a constant that's a 1 by n so i can write this part of here that is you can say the moment generating function of the x bar is my here now how you can proceed that so basically your target is to find the expected value of here and we can check whether it's n upon this or simply n now how you can find the moment generating function of this you can take the one time derivative at t is equal to 0 so what is that if you take the first time derivative it's a minus of n and then it will be my minus of theta by n that is my here so you can see this is the correct statement but we need a not a true how you can find the expected value of this that is a two times derivative so if you take that two times derivative you can see the first time derivative is my here my minus n this is the second time derivative this is my one minus of here the first time and the second time derivative is my here now what is the value at t is equal to zero if you substitute here it will be n n plus one it will be my one it will be theta square upon n square so one will be cancel out n plus 1 upon n of theta square it means this value can't be equal to the this is nothing but my e of x bar square you can see this option is wrong statement and you can see this value is correct because you can write n upon n plus 1 is nothing but theta square so what is the right answer of this problem is my b because this is not the true statement look at the last questions are there how you can solve this problem so you have to define the null hypothesis so how you, what is the meaning of the null hypothesis you have to define the h0 which must contain which must contain the equality sign for the unknown parameters so if you look about that in this question how many unknown parameters are there mu and sigma both are the unknown so you have to look about the h0 so you can see this is not equality this option is cancelled this option is cancelled they both are the equality this is the right answer here only the mu is there it means sigma square it can be greater than it can be equality it can be less than it means this option will also cancel only the c option is the correct option for here we will see some more questions on the 11 to 15 in our next class is of the two marks each with again the shortcut tricks till then you can simply like this video share and subscribe to my channel best of luck students happy learning